Every person has a different element of godless that's not repeated in somebody else. Our avoide and avoide Hashem is hopefully v'siyata d'shmaya to just bring out that flam fire, the chaylik elikai mimal, which is given to every person in their distinct way. I came to the shul on a random Friday night and I was welcomed with open arms. Whenever somebody here makes a simcha, you really feel you feel for their simcha. There's genuinely a group of individuals here that care about other people. There's a warm smile there to greet you when you walk through the door. Somebody will remember that you were there. Somebody will recognize that you were missing the day before. <laughs> We all want to grow in one sense or another. You know, now I have Chavusa Shafs and I'm davening here three times a day. I'm involved. I give the shul a lot of credit to my growth. The unique thing about the, the Daf Yomi Shir is it's an amazing crowd. They're not just coming to be Yates of the Daf Yomi, they're, they're coming to actually learn and, and see what's going on. It's super interactive. We really enjoy it. I love coming to the Daf. It's really changed my life. There's a really incredible mix of people that come here. When someone cooks a dish, each element gives its taste. Our goal is to merge all the different ingredients and make it into that beautiful nachasiyach for the Rebbeinu Shloylan. It all stems from one spot, from our, our wonderful Rav and Rebbeinu, who really pushes us not to fit a certain mold, but everyone to be the best person you can be. I found someone in the Rav who believed in me before I believed in myself. <laughs> wrap our tefillin like a regular flap of shul. We want to sing while we wrap our tefillin. There is no better way to start your day out than to realize that you're part of something, but at the same time, it's okay. Now life isn't that serious. Maybe you come from an outside perspective, you might think that's a little bit interesting. It's a, you know, a tremendous thing to see that people feel like, like home. And that's something that I think everyone could use in their life. Instead of just daily routine, spice it up a little bit. <laughs> Um, uh, every person's unique talents and he, uh, he really cultivates it. He pushes us to do things that we don't even think we're capable of, but he tells us, no, you're capable. My kids love coming to the Avasuban on here at KTA. There's stories, there's pizza, there's learning, there's prizes. It's, it's the place to be. Baruch Hashem, it blossoms from something which is just for fathers and sons to, we have a wonderful girls program running simultaneously in the basement. It just never stops.
even when it rains, even when it snows, who's coming to shul for Shabbos afternoon mincha? It's me, because I just can't leave this place. It's helped me be a better father, a better husband, I hope. Uh, it's helped me in business. We have such a beautiful kehla, and I thank the Rabbi Nishlam every day for giving us such a wonderful chevra of B'nai Aliyah, one group, one mission, and that's our avoida as a whole in the Bismandish. Time. You almost did, Jack. <laughs> One, two, three, four! Oh!